Hello, welcome back to another After Effects video. And this I want to look at Rack Focus, which is a cool effect you can do in After Effects. So when we look at this active camera, you can see we've got an egg and we also have a shark video. The egg is, happens to be an animation, the shark is a video, right? So if we look at the actual positions, they're both 3D videos. One is at 500, one is at 1286. And they're both in perfect focus, which doesn't actually make sense, but it just makes sense in After Effects or in sort of digital software in general. So what we might want to do is something called a Rack Focus event. And that will let you do... It's kind of like when you watch a, like a film or something and it's focused on one character who's sitting forward and then another character at the back is, is blurry and you can switch between the two, right? So that's the effect that we're going for here. So the way to do that is we're going to go into our camera settings here and we're going to look at a bunch of things. Now, you'll notice uh, to calculate whether the something is in complete uh, perfect focus, at the moment the egg is in perfect focus and you can tell that because this line here is uh, the focus distance. And that's 800 pixels. So how do you actually get that number? Well, if you look at the position, you essentially do the position of the egg, which is say 500, minus the position of the camera, which is minus 300. So 500 minus minus 300 is 800. And that is gonna get us the focus distance. And that's why this line is level with this here. So when we press this button here, the depth of field button, it actually makes things work as I just explained. So for instance, I press this button here, you'll notice that the egg is in perfect focus. The egg doesn't change much between, it's it's pretty much staying at the same Z value. So it's pretty much in perfect focus, but this shark is not. So what we could do is we could then focus on the shark instead, right? So like I said before, the focus distance is gonna be the, the distance of the layer we want, which is gonna be the shark. So that's gonna be 1286, so say 1300, minus minus 300 so that's going to be 1600 so essentially if we just change the focus distance to 1600 here at some point it doesn't really matter where we change it we'll go focus distance from here and we could do it quite quite swiftly actually so let's just do it to 1600 here and there you go you can see now the shark is in focus and the egg is out of focus so we can take a look so a pretty cool effect that you can do that. So thanks for watching.